What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where we discover the hidden stories of every location in Fallout 4. Now I don't know about you guys, but as soon as I entered Nuka World on the monorail and got the first look out of the window, I saw it. The Shovel Museum. I knew from that point on that I had to visit this place straight away. I had a burning desire to go here. And I know guys, I know you've all been eagerly awaiting this episode. And it's probably the most asked for location in Fallout 4 ever. And I cannot wait to explore it with you guys. But just a quick health warning. Before we proceed, make sure you go to the toilet and make sure you're sitting down. My friend almost had a heart attack when I showed him this location. And I do not want the same thing to happen to you guys. So to reach this location, we must travel east from Nuka World. We will find the Mecca of Fallout 4 just here on the map. There it is, just under the monorail there. And it looks like my friends are already attacking it. Let's just say hello to them. Because this is how we say hello in Fallout 4. Ah, I appear to have missed. At least they know I'm here now. Now the thing about the Shovel Museum is that it's so damn exciting that it's just created gang wars. Like, I mean, you thought the factions at Nuka World like cool with one another? You're wrong. Like, here at the Shovel Museum, it's very territorial. Obviously it would be though, like everyone wants to visit the Shovel Museum, right? A sure shot to the head is should be enough to kill them. Get wrecked, son. This is my museum! My accuracy in VATS appears to be pitiful. You know there are going to be some good quality shovels at this museum. Why else would everyone be so damn keen to get here? I mean, geez, there's a bloody war going on here. This guy's just ja Oh my god, that was an awkward way to die. 65% to hit you in the head, but no AP. Don't worry, I'll no-scope you. This guy's gonna get hit in the head. Oh! Okay, he just tanked that bullet to the head. He didn't give a... C Not allowed to swear anymore on YouTube. The Operator Wasters, my gang in arms, were so keen to visit the Shovel Museum that they ran here and just eradicated all the gunners that were currently posted here. And these guys have laser rifles and combat armor, which is probably going to make a good change to my current outfit. As you can see, I need to find a helmet to hide my hideous features. So let us- oh! He was trying to steal a shovel from the museum. How dare you? Oh, and this painting has been dislodged from the wall. I wonder, let us read this plaque to see what it said. British shovel fighters were some of the most feared and deadly warriors from the Revolutionary War. They were known for their pristine ditches and the uncanny ability to deflect rifle shots. Okay, I am British and I find this offensive. Oh my god! A soldier has been... His head has just been shot off there. But at least we know the legend of these shovels. There is also a suitcase here with some raider armor. And don't worry, I will get... Oh my god! This is his head! Rest in peace, soldier. Okay, let, let's read these plaques and see what they say. That's not a plaque, ESO. What are you doing? This is a plaque, and this is a shovel. Let us learn about this shovel. This shovel was used by our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln's cousin's neighbor, to prepare a latrine hole in 1862 that the president himself might have used. That is pretty, that's pretty grim. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll put a picture up now to show you. Yeah. So this next shovel was used by Keith McKinney in the film Ditch Diggers of Dusseldorf. This shovel was actually the stunt prop for McKinney's shovel used in the most dangerous action sequence. 
I'm actually gonna have to look that up now. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna look that up on my phone. I don't believe you. What was this dangerous action sequence to do with the shovel? Diggers of Dusseldorf. Are you actually shitting me? Does this exist? I don't believe you. Diggers of Dusseldorf. Oh, it's called Ditch Diggers of Dusseldorf. What I have found, guys, is this urban dictionary definition of ditch digger. Billy was riding down the hill on his bicycle and ended up crashing into the ditch. Billy is such a ditch digger. This movie doesn't exist. This is a lie. How dare you lie to me in the museum. What's this plaque? The item you see before you is not technically a shovel. Another lie. But an example of a long handled spade. That is not a shovel. Most popular sometime between April 3rd and April 7th in 1963. It was, just, it was popular for a few days and then people thought, Nah man, I want an actual shovel though. A long handled spade. What is this? This is meant to be a shovel museum. Don't get it twisted. Another shovel. Okay, what does this say? Private Jean Look Allard. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video, just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it. You will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad, guys. Now let's get back to the video. Use this very shovel as you followed Napoleon's horse in ceremonial parade throughout Europe. Please do not touch. Let me Google this person's name. Is this another lie? Jean Luck Allard. This, this man does not exist. I will touch your fucking shovel all I like. Okay, so, okay, this is another plaque that has been dishonored because it has been turned into a table. Let's read this plaque. The first shovel originated in the Neolithic times and was probably made using an animal's shoulder blade. This is a replica of what a shovel may have looked like if it were made in modern times in Mexico. Why? Why Mexico? Why Mexico, Bethesda? Wait, do they not have real shovels in Mexico? Okay, let's let's type in Neolithic shovel. This must um this must exist. Yeah, okay, so that, that technically does exist and that seems believable. Now let's type in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't get the Mexico thing, guys. Don't get that at all. And we have even more shovels. This this museum is lying. Ninety percent of this museum was fake. And then we have this guy who thinks he's like Captain Shovel over here. Oh, he's immune to immune to weaponry, is he? Oh, I'll give you him frag grenade, mate. Take this, take this shit. This guy doesn't even give a shit. He couldn't give two jam jars what I throw at this guy. I'm just gonna, yeah, how's that boy? Take your shovel. So, a camera? What is that doing in the shovel museum? There should only be shovels for sale here. And we can also, there's also a spine here. Shovels and spines. All right, let's go upstairs and have a look what else we have. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. I slipped. There's a first aid box and some purified water. Beautiful view over the monorail. What else do we have here, though? Get out of my way, scallywag. Um, there is a dead body. Oh, look. Rib cage. We can actually take the parts of this person's corpse individually. And he's been drinking rum. He was like me. He was excited to visit the shovel museum. And then he realised that it was all just a lie. And he's, he's drunk himself to death. He was just trying to reach the last morsel into his mouth when he just disintegrated into skull and bones. We even have some bubblegum in the sink for some reason. And look, potato crisps in the toilet. I think this, this sums up the museum for me, guys. It was so dry that someone had to literally saturate it in the toilet water in order to be able to consume the information here. That's how dry it is. And there's some vodka, white whiskey, white wine was that. And there's also a urinal here. Okay, so that was the most interesting toilet I've ever visited. What are you looking at, man? Leave me alone. Oh look, it's another head. Rip. 
rolling down the stairs. Okay, let's look at this terminal and actually see what's up here. There's nothing else around. Let's look inside the terminal and see what we find. Dot, Maggie, dear Mr. Jack. Everything's corrupt apart from the letter of registration. So let's read that. It was with a heavy heart that I announced that today is my last day at the Shovel Museum. <gasps> no! After almost seven years working here, I have decided to accept a job at the Museum of Mops and Buckets. Why didn't I know about that museum? That is the next place we have to visit, guys. My god, the Museum of Mops and Buckets. And I will be moving there soon with my family. Well, I can't believe this man even has a family, but we've done amazing things together, and I'll never forget any of you. Thanks for everything, R. Ah. I don't know if this guy is actually talking about the shovels like his companions or the other people that work here. He's worked here for seven years, my god. Scallywag07, what do you think of that, huh? Huh? What do you think? Sniper round to the face. Okay, so let's, let's look at this safe because we didn't check this safe out. We have some ammo cartridges here. So clearly what this guy was actually doing was in his spare time. Like, it, all, the, all the information is here, guys. In his spare time, what this guy would do with his pipe pistol and his ammo and his silver pocket watch that he probably mu stole from someone, he was actually a bandit. This is his raider clothes here. He couldn't, he couldn't afford to run this shovel museum because the cash register is, in fact, empty here. So what he did was he went around raiding passers-by that were visiting Nuka World on their way to the shovel museum in the wastes here. And he was just like, give me all your valuables. And that's why he has the silver pocket watch here. So my friends, the owner of the shovel museum was in fact a raider. Much like this raider here. Very similar story. My god. Oh my goodness. Well, that's just not cool, is it? I'm getting wrecked by these guys now. Come on, Scallywag. Let's take them out. Let's take out these... Who do you think you are in my shovel museum, man? Okay, I don't have enough AP to aim at you yet. Now I do. And I've got a crit. Boom! Acrobatic. Oh, we've got ballet in the shovel museum, guys. Look at that. Oh, God. Hello. Hello there. Let me just reload. Okay, Scallywag just literally wrecked this hoe. Move out of my way, Scallywag. Move, move, move over there. Hey, I want you to. No, I don't. I don't want you to wait. Wait there. Oh, oh my God, Scallywag! We're just not going upstairs. So there you have it, the legend of the shovel museum. And uh, I'm sorry if it disappointed you. Personally, I did not think it would all be alive. Why have you done this, Bethesda? Why? Please do like the video if you enjoyed my emotional journey through the Shovel Museum. That lets me know that you guys dig it and I should do more videos like this one here. Also, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest wacky project here on YouTube. But guys, when this video comes out, I'll actually be moving house. And where I'm moving house, I don't actually have internet set up yet. So I don't know how long this will last. But hopefully I'll still be getting videos out to you next week. But thanks again for watching, guys. My name is ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.